Hi, Dr. Minkoff here. Ran across something the other day which is really interesting. Did you know that if you take one course of an antibiotic that the chances of you developing depression within a year is 23% and anxiety is 17% and if you take two courses within a year of an antibiotic, it jumps to 56% for depression and 44% for anxiety. Why is this? First thing is, I think it's helpful to know because let's say you had a urinary tract infection or you had prostatitis or you got a ear infection or you got a strep throat and your doctor prescribed for you an antibiotic which you took and you got over the illness. And then within a few weeks to a month, you're feeling like, why am I anxious? Why am I, you know, like what's wrong with me? Or why do I feel blue? Why do I, what's wrong with me? It's helpful to know that if you took an antibiotic prior, chances are it's from the antibiotic. Now, why does this occur? It turns out that the intestinal flora in our gut, this thing called this biome or microbiome, these bacteria in there, which number in the hundreds of trillions, there's like a lot of them in there, that they have a lot to do with mood and a feeling of energy and well-being. And when an antibiotic is taken so that their, the, their numbers are distorted, they can affect how we feel. Now this is really interesting. In the gut, so here's the gut wall, small intestine. Here's the lining cells of the small intestine. Every so often, there is a cell in there which is actually what's called a neuroendocrine cell. It's a cell that makes neurotransmitters. Well, what are neurotransmitters? like serotonin and dopamine and epinephrine and GABA. These are the things that neurons use to communicate with each other. Most people would think, well, gee, these are made in the brain because most of the neuronal activity is in the brain, but they're not. They're made in the gut. And it turns out that this neuroendocrine cell, 90% of the serotonin that's made in the body is made by that cell. 50% of the dopamine is made in that cell. But that cell only makes it if the right bacteria is here that gives it something that it needs so it can do that. And if you take the antibiotic and you kill off that cell, kill off that bacteria, this cell can't make the dopamine or the serotonin. And then you're going to feel one of these things. Now that's, that's, that's fascinating because what does the average person do? Well, I'm anxious or I'm blue and they go to the doctor and they say, well, you're just menopausal or you're stressed out at work or here, take this Prozac, you know, take this drug, it'll help you. When the real reason is, oh, maybe I need some good gut bacteria to fix my gut. So I'm not saying that if you're really sick and you get an antibiotic that you should never take the antibiotic. No, maybe you need it. But then you've got to fix the damage. You've got to know that this can be one of the effects of it. And then you've got to fix the damage. So eat some fermented foods, you know, have some sauerkraut or kimchi, you know, drink some kombucha, get some, some, uh, some pickles, you know, get some, get some good bacteria going in your body. If you had to do something that was harmful so you can replenish these guys and you can fix yourself. Now the other thing that does this is glyphosate, Roundup, non-organic foods. If you're eating glyphosate, it does the same thing. It kills your own microbiome and it opens up the junctions between the cells so that you get a leaky gut and you get stuff in there. We'll talk about that in another one. But these are insults which lead to this. And we have major problems now with depression and anxiety. I mean, tens of millions of people are on Xanax and Prozac and 
you know, drugs to treat this stuff. And in many of them, if they got it right away, they could fix it. So there's two easy things for this, is never take an antibiotic unless you absolutely have to. You know, if you can get by with some vitamin C and some zinc and some vitamin A and some silver and gut it out, do it because they won't cause this effect. If you're really sick and you have to do it, okay, do it, but then fix it. So avoiding drugs is one thing. The second thing is, is eat as organic as you can. Because if you're avoiding glyphosate and pesticides, you're gonna not have that, com that effect coming in all the time. And if you do that, um, you won't fall prey to this stuff. And um, you won't be depressed and you won't be anxious. <laughs> and um, your life will be better. Okay, hope this helps.